they want me out. Oh, let's see if we can get them out. These are radical left Democrats. They're lunatics. And it's election interfering. So I just want to thank you for being here. Uh, we'll appeal. We'll be successful, I think, because, frankly, if we're not successful, New York State is gone. New York State will be gone. If Donald Trump has to pay the fine that he got for defrauding banks in New York for uh, fundamentally presiding over an organization that lied routinely about all of its core financials, New York is gone. No, it's not. It'll be fine. But there is a threat to it. It's not from Trump directly, but it's a threat to New York that Donald Trump supports. And it's that when he made this call to end New York, I guess, guess who came? to defend him. The truckers, of course. Truckers for Trump are going to boycott driving to New York City after the fraud ruling because, you see, and let's see if we can follow this logic, uh, Donald Trump committed fraud. I'm not, it's not, it's not an allegation, by the way. He's now been found to have committed fraud. I can just say that. I don't have to worry about legal liability or whatever. And it's not debatable. We know exactly how much he overvalued specific properties. And so New York is bad and New York should suffer. Like regular people who live in New York, truckers who live in New York, conservatives who live in New York should be economically devastated so that they'll overturn the verdict. How would that happen? Why would that happen? But anyway, it's a thing that Fox News is not surprisingly um, uh, promoting. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. Uh, Chicago Ray, not Ravana, she'll be on the show tomorrow. This is Chicago Ray, went on uh, Twitter and uh, posted this a little video, but says, I've been on the radio for over an hour and I've talked to at least 10 truckers who are going to start refusing loads of Monday for New York City. I talked to three guys that I work with who texted the boss and told him, no, we're not going to New York City. Truckers are 95 percent truck uh, Trump. I don't know if that's true. I assume majority, but I don't know about 95 percent. It'll get overturned on appeal, but you know how blank hard it is to get one of these blank in a New York City. Cut the blank. I'll see you down the road. Look, I will agree with Chicago Ray on one thing. I, I wouldn't want to drive my tiny car into New York City. So I imagine that, yes, bringing a truck in there is tough and they should definitely be well paid for it. By the way, I will just point out to Chicago Ray, almost everyone out there who is advocating for the interest of truckers who want them to be paid and have job security and not get screwed over in terms of how you have to go into debt to actually finance the truck that you have are not conservatives, by the way. John Oliver had an amazing episode of his show breaking down the plight of truckers. Trump loves when you guys support him. He's not doing anything to help you, though. But anyway, the idea is that they're just not going to deliver to New York. And uh, that was so high profile, it, got, it went so viral that Trump himself retrothed it on Troth Social. And so he likes it. He likes the idea that truckers would screw over New York, the businesses of New York, including, by the way, his business that is still in New York and presumably has things that are delivered to it via truck. Um, and it's not just him. We're going to return to him because there's been some developments for Chicago Ray. But there was another trucker who, for some reason, the Daily Mail had to point out as a female trucker. I mean, I guess it's not the majority or whatever, but like you could just say trucker. She's still a trucker. But anyway, says it could shut New York down, saying if New York loses just 10 percent of the trucks going in, their prices are skyrocket on everything from milk to eggs to any type of goods that the consumer needs. And that could still come true. Yes, if one in 10 trucks didn't go, that probably would jack with the prices a little bit. But unfortunately, that uh, that female trucker, Jennifer Hernandez, is not going to have the support of one notable trucker, which is Chicago Ray, because he is already backing off of this. Apparently, uh, sitting in your truck and making a video and tweeting about how you're going to tell your employer to go F himself is easier to do than to actually do that. And understandably, it doesn't seem to have gone well. So now he's backing off. So he deleted the video. Uh, he took down the post, um, but obviously everybody had already seen it at that point. I mean, literally the former president of the United States had sent it out. So that didn't really work. He did post this message on Twitter trying to move past this situation, saying, just to be clear, I'm no figurehead of any movement, despite the right trying to make that the case. I'm not leading, nor have I encouraged, or am I encouraging anyone to do anything other than what they were doing prior to the ruling on Friday in New York City? So very clearly being like, everybody back off. Stop getting me in trouble. I just want to keep my job. Says I'm just a trucker or a chatter and posted it on Twitter. I mean, that's 
that's not what the initial post was. It wasn't just this is what people are saying. It's I agree with this. I think that it's a good idea. He still says that he'll win on appeal and maybe he will. He says we're all Americans and all. Although we may not agree with the way Trump is being persecuted, there's a lot of people who have nothing to do with this that could be harmed. We're truckers. We do what we do. We work through the pandemic. Let's keep goods and services flowing as scheduled and our voices will be heard loud and clear this November. That is an incredibly reasonable post from Chicago Ray, both reasonable on the substance that truckers do a very important job, which is why leftists advocate for them, by the way, and don't want them all to be replaced by Elon Musk's automated uh, automated trucks or whatever. Um, but also reasonable because, yeah, he probably was risking losing his job or whatever. And I don't want him to lose his job. You should be able to post that you think that it's unfair that the billionaire who objectively broke the law, objectively committed fraud, there's no debate to be had there, doesn't deserve to be fined. You can you can have those political views. You can subscribe to a political movement that claims to be for the everyman, for the worker, a populist movement, while at the same time believing that the elites in society should be literally above the law. You can do that. It doesn't ideologically seem consistent to me, but you should do that. You shouldn't be at risk of losing your job. But that said, boycotting the entire city makes no sense just because you don't like one of their like legal judgments. And I'm not saying that I've never seen this before. You know, some people are saying they don't want to go to Texas because of their abortion laws or whatever. OK, well, that is Texas literally persecuting like half of its population. Not one guy who broke the law and who actually is suffering consequences for it. Some people, uh, Indianapolis, there was a brief boycott of them for the anti-LGBTQ laws. That's literally them prosecuting a ton of people that live there. So just there are boycotts and then there are stupid boycotts. We can you can engage in whatever you want, but they don't all automatically deserve respect. And I just will quickly say. Is it weird that like every time anything happens in politics, Fox is like, send the truckers. Or in this case, don't send the truckers, block the truckers. Like, I get that there was the vaccine thing in Canada. But like, what did the truckers have to do with the border? Remember that convoy that went there and then disappeared in three and a half minutes because it didn't have anything to do with anything? What does that have to do with the legal system in New York? Like, truckers do an important job. And I get that, like, the idea of this is they're more real Americans than people who do other sort of work. But like, why always the truckers? Why does every social movement on the right need to rely, like rest on the shoulders of people who cart cargo. I don't understand it.